John Philip Hultberg, painter, printmaker, educator, and poet, was born to Swedish parents in Berkeley, California on the 8th of February 1922. His formal art education began in 1939 at Fresno State College, where he majored in English literature. Upon receiving his bachelor's degree in 1943, Holtberg enlisted in the United States Navy. Upon his discharge in 1946, Holtberg enrolled at the California School of Fine Arts, now the San Francisco Art Institute. Using his GI benefits, he studied with Mark Rothko, Clay Spawn, and Clifford Still. Fellow artists at the CSF included Richard Diebinkern, Frank Lobdell, Walter Kuhlman, James Bud Dixon, and George Stillman, all of whom would participate with Hultberg in the landmark Abstract Expressionist Drawings portfolio of 1948. They would subsequently become known as the Sausalito Six, as several had studios in the Industrial Center building on the waterfront in Sausalito just north of the Golden Gate Bridge. The artists met informally in one of the studios and shared models and ideas. They also exhibited at the Contemporary Gallery and the Seashore Gallery of Modern Art in Sausalito. Hultberg's first solo show took place at the Contemporary Gallery in 1949. This same year, he was awarded an annual prize by the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, as well as the Albert Bender Grant which allowed Holtberg to move to New York and enroll in courses at the Art Students League. In 1952, Holtberg participated in his first New York show at the Museum of Modern Art's New Talent Exhibitio, and in the penthouse, go to Holtberg Kruger. He moved to Paris in 1950 for where he met the gallerist Martha Jackson, who exhibited his work for the next 20 years. In 1955, he was awarded first prize for royal painting at the Corcoran Biennial in Washington, D.C. Holtberg was given a Guggenheim Fellowship in 1956 and his work was featured in a solo exhibition at the Martha Jackson Gallery in New York that same year. Between 1959 and 1960, he participated in exhibitions in Paris, Milan, and Brussels, and upon his return he began exhibiting extensively throughout the U.S. Hultberg met fellow artist Lynn Drexler in Manhattan at a gathering for abstract expressionists in 1961. They soon married, traveling for three years before returning to New York, where they lived at the Chelsea Hotel. In 1971, they purchased a home on Monhegan Island, Maine and divided their time between the island and New York City. They would continue to work and exhibit from these two locations until Hultberg, unable to take the harsh island winters, bought a house in Portland, Maine. By the 1990s the two artists were estranged, though they never divorced. Hultberg was awarded a McDowell Fellowship in 1971 and he won the Paula Krasner Foundation Fellowship for Painting in 1998. He continued to exhibit regularly, with shows in New York, Maine, and Europe. In 2005, his book Soul Witness WWP Press, 2005 was published as a compilation of essays and poems he wrote in Paris and New York in the 1950s. In addition to his teaching career at the Art Students League 1991-05, he also taught in Hawaii and California. John Hultberg is represented in the collections of the Buffalo AKG Art Museum, New York, the Bates College Museum of Art, Lewiston, Maine, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the Museum of Modern Art, and the Whitney Museum of American Art, New York, the Portland Art Museum, Oregon,
the Cranard Art Museum, University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign. The National Gallery of Art and the Smithsonian American Art Museum, Washington, D.C. And the Worcester Art Museum, Massachusetts. John Philip Hultberg remained active as an artist and teacher until the week before his death in New York City on the 15th of April 2005. He gave lectures, and in 1985 he had an exhibition at the Portland Museum of Art. A play that he wrote was produced the University of Maine Theatre Department. He published the book Soul Witness, Vagabondage, Paris Odyssey 1953 to 1955, Poetry, and other books. He taught art in Hawaii and the West Coast. He was teaching at the Art Students League and was a full-time resident in New York by 1990. Monhegan Island at first, having been swept up by the natural beauty of the island, I found myself copying the landscape, something I had never done before. As time went on, I began to distill the spirit of the island into my invented panoramas. The quality of swiftly changing light, atmospheric conditions, water patterns, as well as imagery inspired by the island, lobster boats, traps, ropes, kerosene lamps and the like, seeped into my paintings. John Hultberg Mr. Hultberg made a name for himself in the 1950s with powerful landscapes, fractured into slabs under ominous horizons, multiplicities of bizarre, huddled shapes, and dense, semi-abstract urban wastelands dappled with harsh brilliance and vague human touches. Their air of mystery and forceful use of color earned him awards at exhibitions that began in the 1950s and continued for five decades. Wolfgang Saxon, The New York Times John Philip Hultberg remained active as an artist and teacher until the week before his death in New York City on 15 April 2005.